Okay, in this video we're going to do an exact differential equation. And an exact differential equation, again, is when you have a function of x and y, um, another function of xy times y prime set equal to zero. And basically it says if you take the derivative of m with respect to y and the derivative of n with respect to x, um, and those are equal, we call the equation exact. And it says basically what you can do is you can find a function whose derivative with respect to x is the m part, derivative with respect to y is the n part, and then we use that function to come up with a solution. Um, and it says each of these functions, their partial derivatives, have to be continuous um, in the originals on a connected region to make everything work out. So I just uh, want to put that up there. I think most people kind of glaze over it, but uh, I don't know. So anyways, okay, so the first part, we here, here we have uh, y cosine x plus 2x e to the y plus sine x plus x squared e to the y minus 1 y prime. So the first part is our function m of xy. And our other function, um, there's our n of xy. And you know, everything's written in a nice form here. Uh, so it says we take the partial derivative of m with respect to y, so we'll treat x like a constant. So the derivative of y cosine x would simply be cosine x. The derivative of 2x e to the y will just be 2, excuse me, just 2x e to the y, because again we're taking the derivative with respect to y. Um, and then we have to take the derivative of n with respect to x. And if we take the derivative with respect to x, the derivative of sine is cosine. Um, the derivative of x squared is 2x. And the minus 1 goes away, so hey, these are equal to each other. This now tells us that this equation is exact. Okay. Okay, so now the next thing that we want to do here. Okay, so now we know that there's a function, there's a partial. that equals the function, the m function, which in this case is y cosine x plus 2x e to the y. Well, if we, um, and the other thing, excuse me, we also know there's a partial with respect to y of that function that equals the other part, sine x plus x squared e to the y minus 1. Okay, so if we take this first function and integrate it with respect to x, we'll get simply, so if we integrate, uh, excuse me, again with respect to x, so we're integrating cosine, so the f function, the f of xy, will simply get y times sine of x. If we integrate 2x, we'll get x squared. e to the y will come along, but again, <coughs> excuse me, we're integrating with respect to x, so we'll have to add on a generic function in terms of y, because again, if we take the derivative of this with respect to x, it'll simply go away. Okay, now the next thing we know is if we take the, the derivative of this with respect to y, okay, so the derivative with respect to y would be sine x. Again, the derivative of e to the y is just e to the y. Well, then we would get plus h prime of y. And recall that we now know that this function has to equal um, the n part, which is sine x plus x squared e to the y minus 1. Okay, so now I'm just using this condition um, on this part. So what does that tell us? Well, it tells us what h prime of y is. So now we know that h prime of y simply equals negative 1. And if we integrate that, we'll get that h of y, and again, so now we would integrate back with respect to y, we would get that h of y is just negative y. Okay, so that means we can now plug that in to our f of xy. So it says our function f of xy is y times sine x plus x squared e to the y plus h of y, which is negative y. 
Okay, and this is the function that we want. This is now um, our solution. Okay, so what we do now to get our final solution to this problem is we have an implicitly uh, defined solution, but that's okay. We just set this simply equal to some arbitrary constant c, and that is now our answer. Okay, so uh, not really that bad of a process. You just kind of integrate and differentiate and set things equal and uh, then make your final answer equal to c. Um, so I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, feel free to post comments. Hopefully me or somebody else can help you out.